Hey guys, what's up? So over a year ago, I reviewed two of Nebula's flagship projectors, the tiny Nebula Capsule 3 and the very beastly Cosmos Laser 4K. And they're still some of the best projectors I've reviewed on this channel so far. One is portable, the other is ultra portable. Fast forward a year and some change, and we're looking at Nebula's very latest Cosmos 4K SE and the new Nebula Capsule Air. Now, if the Capsule 3 was ultra portable, then what the heck are we gonna call this thing? This thing is literally the size of an energy drink. It's actually smaller. And let me tell you, when it comes to output, size does not matter, at least not in this case. Let's just ramble. Hold up, place go up when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Right, so before we dive into all the things these new projectors can do, let's just have a quick look at what's in the box. Starting off with the Nebula Capsule Air, some impressive specs, including a 34 watt battery providing two hours of watch time, a five watt built in speaker, and weighing in at just 650 grams, which is just ridiculous. It comes with a little voice controlled remote, which I will get back to later, some batteries, and a USB C to USB C charging cable to top up that internal battery. What I noticed straight away is how much smaller it is compared to the Capsule 3, which was already quite small. The design looks premium and feels solid as we're used to from Nebula. On the back we have HDMI so you can hook up gaming consoles or third party TV boxes, USB-C for charging and the power button. Then we have the snap-on base, which I will get back to later as well. And lastly, it comes with a couple of screws and plugs in case you want to mount this thing to the wall. Next up, we have the coolest new addition in my opinion, which is the battery bank tripod. You can use this to mount and charge the capsule air at the same time, expanding its battery life and of course providing a whole bunch of angles, as well as additional height. It can either be screwed into the unit directly or using the snap-on base. And lastly, we have the big boy Nebula Cosmos 4K SE voice remote on top with dedicated buttons for all the usual suspects, batteries, and of course a power cable and the unit itself. And I can't get over how good looking this design is. It has the skin friendly carrying handle and of course the iconic red ring around the lens. On the back it has two HDMI ports, I'll get back to that later as well, a USB-A port for media and an auxiliary port. Now we took the capsule air with us on a little family trip to put it to the test for the first time. The setup was super easy and it took only a few minutes as you might expect from Google TV. And the kids absolutely loved seeing that image on a random wall for the very first time. By the way, it has certified Google TV built in supporting over 30,000 apps, including Netflix, which is not always the case with these projectors. So that is a big plus in my book. The voice controlled remote even has dedicated buttons for the major streaming apps like YouTube, like Netflix, and of course, course Prime Video. If you forgot the remote or the batteries are dead, fear not, the capsule features backlit touch buttons on top, so you can still navigate through all the menus quite easily. Once it was up and running, we picked a better wall and set up the capsule there. Now because it has a standard quarter inch thread in the bottom, I was able to mount it right on top of my camera tripod for the perfect height. The 5 watt speaker sounds surprisingly good, and it's more than enough to fill up a small space like this. Nebula also came out with a brand new accessory, which I personally see almost as an essential really, and that is the new capsule power bank tripod. It's nice and compact when it's folded down, but with the legs folded out, it turns into a really solid base for the capsule. It extends all the way up to 84 centimeters for extra height. The real kicker though, is the hinge in the tripod head, which tilts all the way back, making it possible to project the image of the capsule straight onto a ceiling, which turned out to be a real hack for the kids. There will be times where the space you're in does not have any free walls available, but almost every space will have a blank ceiling. And honestly, I think the kids actually enjoyed watching their favorite shows like this even better. What I like most about the capsule tripod combo is that you can pick up the entire package like that and move it to wherever you want it. Plus, you'll have double the battery life. Two hours is great if you wanna watch some cartoons or YouTube videos, but for some movies, it's just not quite enough but with the extra two hours you get from the battery and the tripod, you can watch any movie you want without having to worry about the battery and with zero need for a power outlet. Now, if you don't need the tripod and you wanna keep it super compact, you can just use the snap-on base that comes with the capsule air. It snaps on magnetically and it gives you similar angling flexibility as the tripod head, just no battery life. The metal ring can be used either for extra stability 
or you can hook it onto something and hang it upside down to project something like that since it's able to flip the image upside down. Now between the size, the weight, the image quality and the charging tripod, which I really think is a brilliant accessory, this is definitely our new favorite portable projector for those family trips. Also, I can see this being very useful for on-the-go business presentations for those exact same reasons. Now, the Nebula Cosmos 4K SE, on the other hand, is an absolute beast, and you can tell that power and output definitely take priority over portability. Now, don't get me wrong, you can still definitely consider this to be a portable projector. I mean, the top handle is kind of a giveaway there, but I think that's there to easily move it between rooms rather than taking it with you on camping trips. I mean, you could, but you will need a power source, and the Cosmos 4K SE does not have a built-in battery and you would need to think a little bit harder about where and how you want to set it up. However, what you give away in portability, you get back in image quality and of course bigger and better speakers. The sharpness of the 4K image is next level and the color accuracy is also top notch. Last year I decided to turn one of our very small spare bedrooms into a home theater for the family to enjoy and of course as an ideal space to test these projectors for the channel. By the way, if you're interested in how I built this mini theater, I'll I'll put a link to that video up here or at the end of the video. Now, because this is such a small space, there really is only one option to place the projector, which is all the way in the corner. And this is where the IEA 4.0 autofocus and keystone correction really shines. No matter the angle, the powerful software will adjust the screen so that it fits your projector screen or wall. It has auto screen fit and auto obstacle avoidance. And in a room like this with such limited options for angles, you really can't place a projector without these features. Now in the off chance it doesn't get it completely right, you can hit this button on the remote and it will repeat the correction. You can even go as far and go into the menu to fine tune the keystone correction to match your ideal viewing angle. Now because it projects a true 4K UHD image, you can blow the screen up to 200 inches and still enjoy a crystal clear picture. The Cosmos 4K SE has 4K Dolby Vision which looks amazing and the dual 15 watt speakers provide Dolby audio as well. Now while that's impressive and it could easily be enough for a room like this, the fact that it has an HDMI 2.1 port with eARC on the back means I can hook up this projector to my Sonos surround system with a single cable and enjoy the full theater experience. Now, being an Apple guy, I personally prefer to hook my projectors up to my Apple TV 4K, but that is just a matter of preference and certainly not a necessity. Like the Capsule Air, this beast runs on full-blown Google TV, which means it has everything you need on board, including built-in YouTube and Netflix at up to 4K resolution. Now, the reason why I keep referring to Netflix is that I've reviewed quite a few projectors on this channel and plenty of them did not have Netflix built in. The reason for that is that only certified Google TV supports Netflix without the need of a dongle or a third-party streaming box. So the Cosmos 4K SE really does have everything you need already built in. But yeah, like I said, it is the image quality where this projector really sets itself apart. It uses the proprietary Nebula Master Image Engine, which improves things like contrast, and overall, it just provides a more natural, color accurate, and vivid picture. The coolest tech, in my opinion, is the hybrid beam, which combines both LED and laser technology, boosting the image up to 1800 ANSI lumens, which is very, very bright. So guys, what can I say? I was already a fan of the Nebula series. The Cosmos 4K and the Capsule 3 were some of my favorite projectors of last year, and these two updated devices made these already good products even better. I can't get over how small this thing is, and I'm a huge fan of this battery bank tripod combo. The Cosmos 4K SE is an absolute beast, and I really didn't expect anything less. Now, as for which one of these is right for you, I guess the choice is pretty obvious. Do you want the best possible image? The Cosmos 4K SE is the one you want, but if it's ultra portability you're after, obviously the Capsule Air is a no-brainer. I'll definitely be hanging on to both of these. If you wanna check them out for yourself, as always, there will be links in the description below. In case you've already decided that you wanna snag one of these up, be quick because the Cosmos 4K SE will have an early bird price of 999 bucks, which is a $300 reduction. I'd say that's worth it. And the Capsule Air Cinematic Bundle, the early bird price for this will be $399, saving you 129 bucks. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it one of these. It does really help. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.